in today's date and time, if you have to identify the top threats to citizen security, to human security, individual security, I would put cyber security threat at number one. Uh, you may not agree with me, but you'll have to agree at least this much that if it is not number one, then it will be at least number two or number three. It is such a big problem. And you know, there are a lot of things to challenge it. It's not that it's a, it's a very easy field. There's so many challenges to human security. Narcotic drugs, big challenge. Uh, uh, women's security, another big issue. Uh, you can take uh, terrorism in its various forms, another big problem. The rapidly increasing traditional crime because of rampant urbanization, another issue. But all of there's so many other issues. But still, from all of them, I will place it at number one. That is the uh, issue, that is a problem of cyber security. And uh, you know, people don't take it very seriously. I have been, as I told you, I, be, I go all over the world and in India. Citizens generally don't take it very seriously. They say, cyber crime, okay, something might have happened, somebody might have lost some money, there might be some scam, there might be some phishing, that's all. That's all they feel it is. That's all the cyber crime to a general citizen, even if they feel about it. But that's not all, you know it. You can lose money, sure. You can lose uh, your reputation, you can lose your name, you can lose your identity, you can lose your peace of mind, and you can even end up losing your life. It is such a big threat, but people still don't take it very seriously. Many sinister things are involved with it. Narcotics, as I told you earlier, narcotics trade is shifting very perceptibly into the layered world of the dark net. Terrorism today is recruitment, training, uh, funding, execution. Everything is being done in the cyberspace. So it is becoming such a big danger, but still people are not taking it very seriously. Why? Because they cannot see the danger. In the cyber world, you will never see the danger. An unseen danger, friends, is always more dangerous than a danger which you can see, because you can prepare for it. An unseen danger? I'll give you an example. Suppose somebody is standing in front of you with a knife. You can see the person, you can see the knife, you know that if the person uses that knife, you're going to be in trouble and it's going to harm you. But you have the opportunity to uh, work out protective strategies. You might flee, you might fight the standard responses to a dangerous situation. And as a result, you may secure yourself. But suppose that same person is standing behind you with a knife, then what's going to happen? You will never see that danger. And then, till you are harmed. And then, you, then by then, it's too late. So that is what I'm saying. It's a big danger because it cannot be seen. And an unseen danger is never, you can never prepare for it. Till you are actually tuned for it. Okay, so that is one thing. And another thing which I have seen from my experience that is there is only one way where you, me, anyone in, this, in the cyber world can make yourself secure. There is only one way. This is not the best way. This is the only way and that is your awareness. The mo more aware you are, the more alert you will be and as a result, more secure you will be. There is no other way. Whatever I'm going to share with you today is out of my own experience is the cyber threat, I call it number one threat, numero, numero uno in the world of security threats to citizens. And how is awareness the only key available to any one of you to fight or to protect yourself against cyber crime? Right? This is what I'm going to say. And uh, I'm going to offer you not a technological solution, sorry. <clears throat> there are a number of cybersecurity experts, they have talked uh, threadbare this issue, they have offered so many solutions, but still cyber crime rampages on. If you see the data of National Crime Record Bureau, they, re they release their reports every year. The report came, uh, it was called Crime in India 2020. According to that, from 2019 to 2020, cyber crime increased 84%, nearly doubled. No crime increases at this rate. Believe me, I'm a police officer with 31 years experience people will be not able to survive in that locality, in that city. That is the effect of crime on people. But 84% and nobody's doing anything. So technological solution I will not give you. I will offer you a philosophical approach because I believe technology can bring about improvement in uh, performance, but a philosophical approach which I'm going to tell you is going to bring about change in behavior. And that is what is required to secure any one of us in the cyberspace, change our behavior. So that's what we are going to do, so let's get started immediately. First, uh, why is it such a big threat, as I said to you? Now, I have seen crime all over the world, and I have dealt with all types of crime all over the world. And after doing this, I can tell you today, cyber crime is different from any crime which has ever happened anywhere in the world before. 
And anything which is different is very difficult to manage, to control. I can give you the example of COVID-19, which struck this humanity uh, is a few years back or just a few months back. Now, why was COVID-19 such a big danger? There are many pandemics, epidemics have come before. In my lifetime, I've seen so many. Bird flu, swine flu, Ebola, AIDS, so many of them came. They were managed. Everything was okay. But what, what was there in COVID-19 which made it such a big problem? According to me, it was different. The way it spread across the globe, the way it affected individuals, what individuals had to do to protect themselves against this um, killer, wearing a mask, social distancing, uh, your sanitization and all that. Were they part of normal human behavior? They were not. So COVID-19 was different. That is why it was so difficult to manage. The whole humanity was affected, and maybe forever, the whole world came to a standstill. This is the effect of a different thing, right? So cybercrime is different. That is why it is difficult to manage. The police organizations all over the world are uh, confused what they should do so they, they can uh, protect the citizens better in the cyberspace. The citizens on their part are also confused what they should do so that they remain secure in the cyber world. So people confused, police confused, and as a result, it's, uh, it's a deadly mix, and it's uh, resulting in this problem becoming such a big threat to uh, human existence, I would say. Not only crime, not only security, humanity. Because we shift, our lives are shifting slowly from this world to the digital world. And if you're not secure there, then it's going to affect your whole life. Yeah, so it's going to affect humanity. So this is why it's different. Now you can ask me one thing. You are saying it's different. But why is it different? Why do you say it's a different crime? I'll tell you that also. It's a different crime, but listen carefully. This is a different crime because it's a crime not of this world. The real, actual, physical uh, world, this world around us, is not a crime of this world. It's a crime of a different world. It's a crime of this world. Virtual, digital, cyber world, a device-based world. And this is also, friends, a world. You are born in the real world, you connect to the virtual world. But this is also a world. If you ever, ever feel, oh, this is not a world, this is just an activity, like reading a book, or cooking food, or driving a car, I'm just talking on phone, it's an activity. Of course it's an activity. I'm just chatting on WhatsApp, it's just an activity. Yes, it's an activity. But while you're doing these activities, you're using a device. And doing those activities, using the device, you're connecting to a world. And that too is a world, as I said. And like this real world, it's full of dangers, challenges, problems, difficulties, crime, criminal. In this world, there are umpteen number of them, are they? Yes, they are. The equal number in this world. Only thing is, you do not see them till it's too late. Till then, everything is very good fun, games, uh, entertainment, convenience. You can sit anywhere, talk to anyone, transfer any money, book any ticket, uh, make, make any friend or network, download any uh, music, watch any movie. It's all great fun till something goes wrong. And then people keep thinking, oh my god, what happened? I was just talking to someone on phone. I never even thought this would happen. Then you can try to keep solving it. Cybercrime gets solved, like every crime. But could you do the one most important thing, protect yourself against crime? You couldn't because you didn't see the danger, but the danger was there. Like, I go to schools all over the country and the world through webinars and seminars. I ask the kids present there always, please tell me what is Blue Whale Challenge? All of them start their answer with one line, it was a game. But was it a game? No. It was a dare, it was a challenge. Hmm? But the poor kids, those innocent minds thought it was a game. They used to give every, a challenge every day, and the 50th day challenge was, take your life. And some innocent kids even went to that extent and killed themselves. Was the danger there? Yes, it was there. Did they see it? No, they did not. So that is the problem of the unseen danger. That's why I say uh, when you spend your time in the digital world, in the cyber world, you should change your mindset. Mindset change is very important. What is mindset? A mindset is made of many components. Your uh, action, reaction, your thoughts, your behaviors, your attitude, your instincts, all of that combined to make a mindset. Now, our mindset is made for the real world. It is not made for the virtual world. Like, I'll give you an example. And as you know, by default, if you start putting that mindset into the virtual world, then what's going to happen? Sooner or later, you're going to make a mistake. Like, one of the um, part of the mindset is instinct. And instinct is, um, uh, you have instincts, everyone. If you see, um, uh, what you see is what you believe. What you hear is what you believe. This is an instinct everyone has. So, but if you start putting this instinct in the virtual world, what's going to happen? You're going to make a mistake, as I said. 
Somebody gets a call and says, I'm your bank manager. You believe it because he said he is your manager. You heard it with your own ears. Somebody uh, sends, sees a fake profile of a beautiful lady or an important person and believes it because he's seen it with his own ear, eyes. Somebody sees a clip of a violent riot going on and below it is written, this is your city. They believe it because they've seen it from their own eyes, the riot, and they've uh, read the message from, in, with their own eyes, so they believe it. And then they start making some attitude, behavior, and they're going to go wrong. So that's why I'm saying you must change your mindset. This mindset is not for the real is virtual world, okay? And you must do it consciously. It's not going to happen overnight. It's difficult. I know changing mindset, difficult task, but still you have to do it. Tomorrow or today or now when you pick up your device or you switch on your, uh, your computer or your laptop, keep it in mind this is not the real world. You have to have different behavior, different mindset. And when you do that, slowly your, uh, you'll, uh, your habit will develop and you'll, uh, your behavior will change, mindset will change. So that is one. Second, I told you awareness is the only key to cybersecurity. Why did I say it? First of all, I will say who is responsible for security in this real world? First of all, you are, yourselves are responsible. First, your family does things to make you secure. Your community, society, police, governments, everyone does so many things to keep us secure. We ourselves, from morning to evening, but still, there is all types of crime. There are all types of criminals. Now let's see the virtual world. Who is responsible for your security? Who takes measures? Just think about it. I'll give you one or two examples. Facebook, you can do it. I can also, I also do it. Suppose I become a 16-year-old girl and make a profile. Can anyone stop me? No. Is there any... Uh, Authentication verification, as of today, no. So I make a 16-year-old girl's profile and send any one of you a friend request. And by mistake, you press the accept button. But who presses the button? You yourself. Another one, somebody gets a call, debit card fraud. They try to take your personal information and so, so they can commit crime on you. And some people give that information, but who gives it? You yourself. Another one of the crimes, this is your device. Suppose I want to control it. Physically with you, control with me. Then what do I do? I send you a virus. And by mistake, you download the virus. But who presses the button? You yourself. So if we are only doing these mistakes of talk, talking to the wrong person and giving all our information, or downloading the wrong file and putting a virus in our device, or accepting a wrong friend request and taking such a big danger on board, then who is going to stop us from making those mistakes and uh, becoming secure in the cyber world? Is there one person who can sit with all of us all over the world and stop us from doing these things? There is nobody like that. Is there anybody, uh, any system, technological or otherwise, which can come between you and your device and prevent you from making these mistakes? Again, there is no system. When there is no person and when there is no system who can prevent you from making mistakes and becoming victim of cybercrime, then who's going to do it for you? The answer is simple. Only you can protect yourself in cyber world. Then when will you protect yourself? There's a question. You will protect yourself when you know about things. Knowledge is very important. But only knowledge is not important, friends. Putting that knowledge to use is even more important. And that is what I call awareness. Knowing and doing. Only knowing is not, people think we know things, so we are aware. Sorry, that's not right. You have to put it into effect, then you are aware. Like everyone knows wearing a helmet is very important when you're driving a bike for your own security. But still, many people don't wear it. So they are aware. They are, sorry, knowledgeable, but they are not aware. So only you can save yourself in cyber world. When will you do it? When you, are, when you know things and when you do those things. And when do you do those things? Every time. That's what I've also seen in cybercrime, cybersecurity. Sometimes people do some uh, secure behavior, sometimes they don't, because they don't see the danger. That's no security, that is zero security. Sometimes you go out of your house, you lock it, sometimes you leave it open, of course not. So, do it, you know, and do, and do every time. I call security a habit, not a choice. Make it a habit. Know it, do it, and do it every time. So that's what I wanted to tell you. This was a message to you. First, please change your mindset to deal with the unseen danger, and second, be aware, and then be secure. And be, awareness is knowing, doing, and doing every time. I hope my message goes to you, and you start doing it from now, if you're not doing it. If you're doing it, very good, do it even better. But not, please start now, otherwise you're heading in a wrong direction. Thank you so much, Jai Hind.